Hey, are you wondering how well you're doing with your bookkeeping? Maybe you're at a total loss of where to begin, and maybe you're not sure how well you're actually doing. You just need to know the next steps to take. During a bookkeeping strength assessment, I work with business owners one-on-one for about 30 minutes and identify what their next step needs to be. I'll lead the conversation by asking some open-ended questions and then ask 10 laser-focused questions so I can pinpoint exactly what you should do next and how strong you are with your bookkeeping. Business owners find this to be the boost of confidence that they need to tackle their bookkeeping head-on. To get on my calendar for a free session, you can email me at Lydia at DACBalance.com or message me on Instagram at Lydia.Miller.MBA. Now on with the show. Hey there, my name is Lydia Miller and I want you to be successful with your numbers no matter what stage of business you're in. This podcast will help you do just that. Learn about doing your bookkeeping yourself, outsourcing your bookkeeping successfully to a professional, and understanding your numbers and the story they're telling. We can avoid the overwhelm and continue creating a business we love to run. Welcome back to the podcast. We are in the middle of our series on profit right now. And last week I talked about 10 ways that you can become more profitable. And this week I want to talk about what kills your profit in your business. So remember, profit is defined as revenue minus expenses. And the cash that you have left over is the profit. So what kills the profit in your business? So I love lists. So here is a list of six things that are killing your profit. Number one is you. Yes, you. If you are constantly overspending or not bringing in enough revenue, then that is a you problem. And the best part is, is that you can fix it. (laughs) You can learn to say no to spending money on everything and making more focused efforts and bringing in more revenue in your business. Number two, unexpected expenses. So your computer breaks, you have a big bill come in, something is more expensive than you thought it would be. All of those things kill your profit. Number three is debt. So when you take on debt in your business, you're promising future revenue to someone else before you even earn it. And when you have massive debt payments, you're basically giving all of your profits away before you make a dollar in revenue. So pay off your debt as fast as possible and preferably don't even take it on. (laughs) Number four, ignoring your numbers. This does kill your profit. And I've seen it over and over again that when a business owner ignores the reality of what's happening in previous months in their business and they don't pivot to reality instead of what they think might be going on, then they kill their profit. And they continue to overspend because they're pretty sure they'll be okay. So look at your numbers each month to avoid this and make decisions based on reality instead of what you're hoping your business is doing. Number five not planning for the future. You may have had a great year last year and your profits may have been outstanding. I am 100% for looking at your numbers and seeing what you did in the past. However, if you're not planning to make more profit and being intentional about how you get there, then you're slowly killing any chance you have in the future of making a profit. Number six, bad customer service and experience. Your customers will want to come back if they have a great experience and they will want to tell their friends. And if you're not giving your customers a stellar experience, then you're not giving yourself a fighting chance of growing in the future. You want to make sure that you deliver consistent, high quality results as promised to your customers so they continue to give you money and you continue to grow your profits. So don't kill your profits before they even get here and don't be wasteful with the profits that you do have. You can listen to episode 62 to learn 10 great ways to spend the profits in your business. So are you struggling with habits that are killing your profit? Maybe you need a second set of eyes on your business to point out just where you're killing your profits. Well, I would be honored to work with you for that. So to get started, you can email me at Lydia at DACBalance.com with the problem that you're having, and we can discuss the best way to get to a solution in a bookkeeping strength assessment call. And if you're ready to use your numbers to help your business, please subscribe so you'll be notified when the next episode drops. 
and I would love to connect with you. You can find me on Instagram at Lydia.Miller.MBA and always by email Lydia at DACBalance.com. So until next time, go and make it happen.